jet. The airport in Phoenix? We're at the airport in Omaha, Nebraska. Our plane had to land here so they could fix some problem with the radio, and now they're saying we could be on the ground for hours. Well, at least they didn't cancel the flight. Yet. I mean, who knows what's really going on? Yeah, no one around here ever gives you a straight answer. So what's going on there? A lot. Last night, Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet found a rattlesnake in their room. Oh my gosh! Are they okay? Well, actually, it bit Uncle Ed. <gasps> Is he alright? He will be. Right now, he's in the hospital. He'll probably be there for a day or two. Aunt Bet's staying with him. Oh my gosh! And apparently a phantom horse showed up at just about the same time as that snake. A phantom horse? Of all the times to get stranded in some stupid airport. Look, you just better keep us posted, Nancy Drew. That's all I gotta say. We're so bored, George just bought a book on 19th century clothing and accessories. George did? It's the only thing in the bookstore here that looks halfway interesting. So if you need to know anything that's even remotely related to 19th century fashion, let us know, okay? Sounds good to me. So what else has been going on? How about some hints? I think that can be arranged. What do you need? That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. Hey there, Nancy. Man, I wish the Raleigh's were here. How come? I'm really looking forward to you and me sitting down and having a nice conversation. Especially with all the weird stuff that's going on. I'm so busy getting all their chores done in addition to my own that I barely have time to talk to myself, let alone to you. Enough of me complaining. What's up? Tex said I should get a canteen from you and see if there are any chores you'd like me to do. Music to my ears. First thing you can do for me is go out to the garden and pick all the ripe vegetables. You know what ripe vegetables look like, don't you? You bet I do. Good, because if you pick vegetables that aren't ripe yet, I'll be real ticked. You can put them in the vegetable basket that's hanging outside. And one more thing. Sometime today, I need you to build a cooking fire in the pit outside. I'll light it when I'm ready to start cooking. And be sure to fill the bucket out there with water and leave it by the pit. You know, just in case something catches on fire that isn't supposed to. The Raleigh's wanted to have a cookout tonight, and by golly, we're gonna have a cookout no matter who is or isn't here. Well, I'd better get going. Pleasure talking to you. Bank robbers? Something goes here. Just missed. There, just call me Nancy Paul Bunyan Drew.
It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty Pick right those away. those vegetables for me yet? Take a look. Good for you. Now, second thing I need you to do for me is take this, go out to the chicken coop and fill it up with eggs. Just be careful of that basket. It's kind of old. And don't forget to build me that campfire like I asked. Right. No! There's a hole in it. There. Am I good or what? Wonder who wrote this? Not yet. So far, so good. That should do it. There. One extremely well-built campfire, if I do say so myself. Great looking fire, Nancy. Nice job. Got those eggs for me? Well... I need those eggs, Nancy. I'll come back when she's not in such a foul mood. You can find more eggs than that. I can? Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Do you think I could get a canteen of water from you? Got one right here. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Need something? <laughs> 